and welcome to Cinema Scoop, where this week we fall in love with the Princess of Montpensier. We follow a comedy double act as they try to make it huge, and the darker side of internet chat rooms is exposed in trust. You're watching Cinema Scoop. Prepare to indulge in an epic French love story as we meet the Princess of Montpensier. The movie was inspired by a short story first published way back in 1662. And here's legendary director Bertrand Tavernier to give us some more details. The Princess of Montpensier is a love story. It's a story of a very young woman who is forced to marry somebody she doesn't know, although she's in love with somebody else. And she, she will have to learn how to survive in a moment, in a period where women, even noble women, even uh, high, women of high class, had no rights, absolutely no rights. With pretty much all the films shot on location, Bertrand felt he had the chance to pay homage to a genre that had inspired him to get behind the camera. I love doing period film on location. I've practically never done any uh, historical film on, uh, on studio. I'm, 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 I don't like the feeling of a studio. I like having gold. I like uh, uh, feeling the air, the woods, the, the seasons uh, around me. And, and that gave me the possibility of fulfilling a dream which I had for so many years to do a lot of shots which were kind of tribute to the Western that I love in my youth. For both the film's two leads, the chance to work with Bertrand was a huge selling point. And for one of them in particular, the audition process involved little more than going for a cup of coffee. I wanted to work with Bertrand. He's such a great director, such a great person. I just met Bertrand, in, um, I remember, in a small cafe in Paris. And I was really thrilled by the idea of, of just meeting up with this amazing director. He's one of like the most respected filmmakers in France. and. Uh, and, and, you know, at the end of the, of the rendezvous, he said, well, I'm really happy to be working with you, so I was surprised he would just offer the role like this. If only all job interviews were so easy. The Princess of Montpensier hits our screens on July 8th. The cutthroat world of stand-up is the subject of comedian Ben Miller's directorial debut, Huge. And here's one of Ben's leading men, Noel Clark, to give us the lowdown. Huge is about two stand-up comedians who are attempting to who, who form a double act in an attempt to become huge and, and they don't really get on very well and it, it doesn't go as well as they planned. We're not used to seeing Noel associated with comedy and even he admits he was surprised to be offered the role. I got a, a call from an agent saying oh, they really wanted to do this, this film. It's a little thing about two, two comedians and I read it and I called him back and said they want me to do this and he was like yeah I said can you can double check and confirm that they haven't mistaken me from that guy from It Crowd or something like that. While the film is based on the comedy circuit, it's not all played for laughs. Here's Ben to tell us exactly what the film has to offer. A little bit of sadness, a little bit of melancholy, but quite uplifting because, you know, it's a kind of, it's people who want to do stuff and that's always inspiring. And it's got some very, very dark, quite interesting bits. It's got some very light, funny bits. It's a sort of, it's everything you want from a drama, really, isn't it? It's you want to feel like, make you feel a bit more alive. Huge hit cinemas from July 8th. He may be best known as the lovable Ross from Friends, but David Schwimmer has stepped behind the camera to make Trust, a powerful and moving family drama. Here he is to tell us some more. It's a drama about this regular family, this family from Chicago, uh, where Clive Owen and Catherine Keener are the parents. Uh, they're both working parents, and uh, they have a pretty good life. You know, they got three kids, they're doing well. Uh, the middle kid is this 14-year-old girl played by Leanna Liberato, um, who uh, befriends someone uh, online, a boy she meets in a chat room. Uh, and that friendship quickly escalates. But it turns out that this online boyfriend isn't quite what he seems, and his influence is to have a devastating effect on the family. It's a tough film, and one that David hopes will get parents talking. I think it's a really gripping, moving uh, story f that, that every parent can relate to. Uh, and I, you know, I don't think enough, um, this subject matter is, is not, is, is never really framed in a way f that, that men can relate to. And that's why I specifically wanted to develop it uh, so that Clive Owen really 
uh, speaks to men in a way and let and lets lets the the dads know out there that that um, they've got a voice. Trust is released on July eighth. Also out this week, director Terence Malick persuades Brad Pitt to climb the Tree of Life. Jesse Eisenberg finds a not altogether legal way to make a living in Holy Rollers. A couple of commandos uncover a satanic plot when they reach the Devil's Rock. Jean-Luc Godard challenges film convention with film socialism. Enigmatic French classic last year in Marion Bad gets a welcome reissue. Okay, that's it for this week, but be sure to come back and see us again on Cinema Scoop.